people always say to me, would you mind being called a gay writer? I love it. I love it's what I am. Mm. And I think I love it when, when you're writing. I love it when you're writing and you feel like you, you hit this territory, you hit ground, there's no one else around. It's like being on a prairie. You think, who else is writing this stuff? And look, around, no one. Russell T. Davis there. Russell T. Davis is a gay writer. It's official. Uh, that is his job title now. And uh, good for him. Fantastic. We can all rest assured that he's now a gay writer. Um, and actually, that was from five years ago. Uh, it's a good interview. Go and find it. It is with uh, Frank Skinner for Absolute Radio, I think it's called. And it's an interesting. I'm going to play another clip from it in a minute where he's talking about Jodie Whittaker. But uh, the point I want to make about uh, him saying he's a gay writer is that this is great. This is what we want. This is what we need. Um, but we need to extend it. We need progress and we need to extend it across more of the production. We need to classify who are the gay camera operators and who are the gay sound recordists. And we need to make sure that we know them and that they are, uh, you know, that, that they do things the way they do them and that they bring the element of being gay into their uh, boom operation and their camera operation. It's very important. We want gay directors. And, of course, you know, we're not saying get rid of straight directors, keep straight directors. That's great. Uh, but they're different. And it's important that we establish that straight people have never been oppressed, ever. That's never happened. No straight person's ever been oppressed. So uh, I think that we need to recognize that. And uh, also the most important part of any production is, of course, the viewer. And we don't just have viewers now. I think Moffat was said that there are fans and there are students of Doctor Who. Uh, well, thanks, thanks, Mr. Moffat, for explaining that to us. What a lovely guy. You never had subtitles. Scottish guy, apparently. Couldn't understand a word he said. Um, so back to the subject of straight and gay viewers. Uh, the most important part of any production is the viewer. And uh, the gay ones now um, are not... I, the, I think the thing that I'm stopping being silly for a moment, I think the thing that I'm trying to say is that if you add an element of political will to what you're doing, then you can expect that will be reciprocated by an element of political will from the viewer. And if there's political will involved in somebody's decision about whether they're enjoying something or not, you can pretty much be sure that they're not going to be too keen to say it's bad because they've been waiting for this uh, representation all their lives. And here it is, and they're going to pan it. No, they're not going to do that. So it kind of like um, makes it almost too easy to be a writer unless you do it really well. Now, I'm not questioning whether Russell T. Davis can write. You know, you know, he's, a, he's won an award for it. He's won many awards. Um and, you know, he is a brilliant, brilliant writer. And I like him. That's, that's the, the key. I'm criticizing him, but I like him. All right? We're allowed to criticize each other and still like each other. You know that, right? You know that. That's a thing. He got an award recently. It wasn't that recent, actually. Uh, and in it, he kind of, well, kind of, he did accept the award, the award graciously, talked a little bit about HIV and AIDS, and for, as far as it's a sin, and it was a well-achieved and well-done-you award. But then he said, while I've got the platform... It's also worth saying, while I've got this stage, this was made by Channel 4. Yeah. <laughs> Public service broadcaster dedicated to making this sort of programme. We know that the government has said they're going to sell that off. I know the government's wounded at the moment, but it's like a wounded dog. A wounded dog bites everyone, and the rabies will spread. It's still in danger. They have said they're selling Channel 4, and they have said they're stopping the licence fee by 2027, and we have to realise that the things the Tories say they will do, they do. They're very good at that. We're full of doubt. They're not. They will do this. It is wrong. I know I'm kind of trying to speak into the converted, but there's money in this room, and if there's money in a room, that means there's Tory voters in here. <laughs> it does. You are here, and you're certainly watching at home, so please know you are voting for murderers, bastards, abusers, and liars. Murderers, bastards, abusers, and liars. Now, I am no fan of the Conservative Party. I am no fan of Tories. I am also no fan of um, anyone on the Labour side. But I'm not a hater of either of them. 
But when I hear somebody be saying stuff like that, and everyone in the crowd's like happy, clappy, yeah, yeah, Channel Four's are good. They work for us. They're with us. Everyone in that room had money. Uh, you had the the Queen's Royal Guards there doing fanfares for God's sake, and um, they're all like in denial about they're part of it. They're part of the problem that Russell is identifying. But murderers, bastards, and abusers is for a writer a dumb, dumb, dumb thing to say. Let's find out. Let's 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 um, look at this guy here. For example, uh, here's uh, Tobias Elwood. This is The Guardian, by the way. Tobias Elwood, MP, praised for an attempt to save a police officer's life. There he is, covered in blood. A guy with a knife ran into Houses of Parliament grounds, brandishing a knife, and killed somebody, uh, stabbed a police officer, and uh, this guy's trying to resuscitate him. Right? There's a Conservative MP there. Uh, he's a murderer, a bastard, an abuser, and a liar, according to Russell T. Davis. Here's Scott Mann. Uh, if there's money, there's Tories, uh, said Russell T. Davis, the gay writer. He said, um, and here's a picture of a postman who's now um, a MP. Um, he is saved from drowning by this uh, conservative MP, ex-army uh, guy, uh, John Mercer. These two guys here, murderers, bastards, abusers, and liars, according to Russell T. Davis, the gay writer. Um, look at this conservative person here. You can't really see it too well. Let me just show you. There she is, Dame Maria Frances Miller. Ooh, who does she think she is? She brought this bill forward. Conservative um, MP uh, Maria Miller there, a murderer, a bastard an abuser, and a liar. Now, I know that's not what Russell meant when he said what he said, but it was still a stupid thing to do and say. So brilliant people make stupid mistakes, right? This is what we're learning. And just briefly, um, this interview was done before uh, Jodie Whittaker. Jodie Whittaker just been announced as a new doctor, and they, um, Frank Skinner asked, Russell T. Davis, what do you think about it? Um... I have, there's a question I feel I've got to ask you, and it's it's the Jodie Whittaker oh, question. Yes. What do you think? How exciting! How excited are you? Are you excited? <clears throat> I am a mixture of excited and afraid, like I am with every doctor yes, that's, that's, that's mentioned, the way, isn't because it? I have the old man's malady that I think it'll be bad, and the BBC will decommission it. Yes, we're, but that's bred into us as fans, which is it? ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because I'm, I'm you know, I, I think, think you know, I think they know that on the team. They're not daft, Christian. They, they, they know they've got all of this riding on their reputations, on Jodie Whittaker's reputation. It was like that in two thousand and five when you had Chris Eccleston and Billy Piper. It's like if this fails, not only Doctor Who will go down the pan. It'll affect Chris. It'll affect Billy. It'll affect my career. When you've got that devil on your back, it's a great impetus to work well. Everyone's career, everyone's career was on the line, depending how well Doctor Who would do under Jodie, Jodie Whittaker, and uh, and I think it's kind of like um, you know Jodie Whittaker did best she could um she went along with what the boss wanted and it was a the wrong decision uh it was not good and a lot of it is down to the writing i'm not going to get into the the the, the pros and cons of or the reasons why the jody whittaker uh, doctor didn't work out but i am interested to see that russell t davis said all our careers are on the line our reputations are on the line here um again nonsense uh, he's got more work out of it. He's back on the throne. Uh, and what's he going to do as a gay director? Uh, sorry, a writer. What is he? Uh, what? 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 Um, how is he going to make his mark this time? This might be his last chance. Is he going to go big? Is the uh, is the sexuality of the doctor, the actor, the actor's gay? Uh, can, can the gay actor play a straight doctor? Uh, or can a gay actor not reference their sexuality in the character at all? But I suspect the gay writer Russell T. Davis has not finished his uh, his politicism quite yet. That's all you 
you get. We are being led towards a subscriber service which you are being told is marvelous, and it's a lie. It gives you a couple of hours of good drama a week and nothing else. And that, in 10 years' time, is what they will demand the BBC becomes. And it is a disgrace.